A YouTube world, this is going to be a short video because I'm out in the garage here in uh, Pennsylvania and it's only 14 degrees uh, for you metric heads. That's minus 10 Celsius. So yeah, too cold to be out here too long. I got the kerosene heater uh, lit inside, so I'd rather be in there. Um, went to the range the other day. It was even colder, but it was nice to get out of the house. And I took the Umarex Octane um, in 0 .22 caliber. And um, I did start recording the video, but um, I didn't. I thought I had more battery power on the phone, but uh, yeah, I had to end the video because my phone was dying. Uh, so I will revisit the video. I will. Uh, go back to the range with the Umarex and I will do some more shots uh, with this air rifle over a hundred yards uh, and it, it's unfortunately going to be a long video but I want to upload it without it being edited or chopped or cut so you can actually see that it is real. So anyway what I'm going to do for now briefly is give you some uh, give you the results okay of the Umarex Octane over a hundred yards without a scope right I love the Umarex uh, octane rifle but it is uh, very very hard on scopes it's got a very it's got a pretty solid jarring action back and forth when you pull the trigger uh, and it is pretty hard on scope so I have a Pinty red dot that's been really good I've put probably minimum 3,000 rounds through it uh, 3,000 pellets and um, it's a red slash green dot um, sight and uh, it works really well it's it's accurate and it's holding up pretty well and you know accurate to the point like i can you know hit hit containers uh at 100 yards and that's with a slight breeze and you know shooting pellets is a lot different to shooting bullets you can have a 36 to 40 grain 22 caliber bullet uh wander with the slightest breeze so imagine something that only weighs 14.3 grains um you know it's less than half that weight uh, it can be a challenge but um anyway i've still got some landed some pellets into the targets after 100 yards and i was pretty impressed first of all this is a half gallon uh juice container i had this full of water and when i say full i filled all these three containers up to the maximum i got as much water as i could in there gently capped them off uh, because i wanted some really solid resistance so you will see here or you might a pellet went through there that's easy to see another pellet went through there and they came out the other side all right so 100 yards half gallon uh, of water we had through and through action there's a third one one two three sorry i was out of focus here uh out of the shot one two three so pretty impressed with that to be honest pretty happy this one was an odd one all right i had it sitting this is a half gallon milk container all right half gallon half us gallon 1.89 liters for the metric minded so just under two liters um this was the side now as you know when you, you fill these up these containers are slightly bulging and i had it sitting like that and the pellets actually hit the side that might have just been one pellet let me put it this way it might have been one pellet going this way but it certainly well actually probably was i didn't actually notice that but that's that's nicely ripped open i'm pretty impressed maybe not just with the rifle but with the pellet i was using the um crossman hollow points nice little pellet but I was surprised, if you think about it, I was surprised that this didn't reflect off. You can see it hit the side. There's nothing there. It's not as if, you know, it didn't come through one side. That was the side of the container. I was shooting this direction. It hit the side. It didn't reflect or deflect or ricochet off. It still broke the container, which I'm pretty impressed with. Now, the last one, I did find the limit of the Umarex Octane. This is a one-gallon olive oil container. Actually, no, it's not quite one gallon. It's three litres. 3.15 quarts, three litres. I had three go through. Once again, this was full of water. They went in one side, did not come out the other. 
that stopped them. Well, one did, but that was after some water drained out, I'm sure. Yeah, there's a hole there. But I'm sure that would have happened after some uh, water drained out and there was less resistance. So the pellets are still in there. So we can get them out. There we go. I'll set them up. Uh, still fairly well intact. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I don't know if the phone is going to focus. Come on, focus. Be good to me. Be good to the viewers. Nah, it's not going to focus. Uh, but I can tell you once again, you're going to have to trust me. Um, I didn't spread a whole lot. A little bit. A little bit flattened out on the tip. But anyway, so that's that's about the limit. In one side, didn't come out the other, in three litres of water. But I'm still pretty impressed with that. We're talking about an air rifle, people. right? We're talking about a .22 calibre air rifle. 100 yards. Um, and it, it's worth mentioning, very cold temperatures. Like it was, what was it? It was only like 6 or 7 degrees Fahrenheit. You're talking about minus 20 Celsius. Um, and that does matter on an air rifle. The uh, Umarex Octane is a, it's a gas piston, so it's a gas strut, um, just like you find on a hatchback of a, or the back of a minivan to hold the tailgate open. Um, so it's a gas strut with a rubber uh, seal on the top of the piston. Now the rubber seal, there's some, you know, it's very lightly oiled in inside the barrel. Now that's cold. Man, that's cold. That rubber is hard and cold. We're not talking about a, a nice, warm, sunny day where everything's sort of nice and soft and flexible. No, this was, you know, this is well below freezing. So I think that matters. I think that's worth mentioning. I think that just gives the uh, the Umarex Octane some more credit. Um, but, you know, a fair bit of resistance. As I said, I, I filled this up to the very top. All right, so there was no... No room for any play or expansion. That was just all water right to the top. So pretty solid. A fair bit of resistance. Now that is easily, that's easily going to, that's going to bust a bunny at 100 yards with a, you know, 14.3 grain pellet. That's easily going to pierce a rabbit. Um, maybe even something a little larger don't know if it's going to go into a groundhog but I reckon that's that's easily going to drop a rabbit at 100 yards so yeah i'm pretty impressed as i said um when when the weather does get you know above freezing um i will be going back to the range um it just got uncomfortable it was great to get out of the house you know you get a bit of that cabin fever in the winter time um i had uh about 10 or 12 days off work over the Christmas break. And uh, so, yeah, look, it was nice to get out to the range. Very pretty area uh, to look at the woods, uh, the ground, everything covered in snow. So it was nice. You know, there was plenty of deer tracks around. Um, it was nice to be there. But, man, it just, you know, your fingers and your hands start aching. And it just becomes, uh, as I said, it's up on a hill. So there's always a breeze. I don't think I've never found a breeze up there. And, uh, you know, you get out in the open taking that 100-yard walk and the wind's hitting you in the face. It just, you know, the, the fun wears pretty thin quite quick. But anyway, back to this. Uh, through and through on a half gallon or just under two litres. And I did the same with uh, plastic milk bottles too, plastic milk containers in the half gallon, which is just under two litres. And they went through and through. Uh, hang on, let me pause for a sec. I'll grab them. I've still got them from last time I went. All right, I've got them. Let me move this guy. Here's the plastic half gallons that I uh, did about a week ago. Two there, another one, another two there. So if you look at these two, we'll come round to the back. Boom, straight through. And that's at the bottom. All right, so there was still water in the bottom. Even if water started coming out of the top, So, yeah, pretty impressive. Uh, didn't go through the outside of the other side of the three litre, though. So, yep, I did find its limit. Still pretty damn impressed with that limit. Um, so, all right, I'm going to end it for now. So it's too cold. I'm going inside. This is, you know, <laughs> it's getting the bean up. And uh, I've been bullshitting on here for, you know, just about 10 minutes. So, 
when it gets a little warmer, I, uh, I'll go back to the range and I will take some video footage of uh, me actually taking the shots. All right, thanks for watching.